This is a VersaLoom tutorial, part 4, removing the project from the loom and square stitching to finish the edge beads. It is very important to attach the woven beadwork to the warp bar beads. Let's do it now. Your thread is exiting the last woven row of beads. Insert the needle through all five beads on the warp bar. Pull the excess thread through. Insert needle through all five beads in the last woven row of beads. The next step is to remove the beadwork from the loom. The straight thread going down the center of the warp bar is a thread to cut first. If by chance you have split the threads on the warp bar, you may also need to cut the thread used to wrap around the warp bar. It's easy, just take your time. I like using a seam ripper as I have more control with it than using scissors. Use what works best for you. Now for the other side. Again, the straight thread going down the center of the warp bar is a thread to cut first. That was perfect. Using a thread that is hard to split will make taking the beadwork off the loom easiest. We recommend Fireline, Power Pro, Spider Wire, or similar product. Do not pull excessively on the threads, as they are the warp threads running through the project. We will use the square stitch to stabilize the warp threads and to strengthen the end beads. Hold beadwork as shown. Thread is exiting the top bead in the edge row. Beadwork is to the left. Insert the needle down through one bead in the previous row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle up through one bead in the edge row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle down through two beads in the previous row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle up through one bead in the edge row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle down through two beads in the previous row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle up through one bead in the edge row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle down through two beads in the previous row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle up through one bead in the edge row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle down through two beads in the previous row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle up through one bead in the edge row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle down through one bead in the previous row. Snug the thread. Insert the needle through all five beads on the edge row. Repeat the square stitch on the other side of the bracelet. The remaining threads can be used to add your clasp. Then embellish the top to your liking or leave it as is. Have fun with your Versaloom. Many of the Versaloom patterns shown here are available at sovaenterprises.com and beadpatterns.com.